Hello and welcome back to another one of my P.O. Box videos and this time I've got a box and it's not coins. I wonder what it is. Hoot hoot. Yes, definitely not coins this time round but it's still a coin address. If you've got anything you want to send me, like a postcard or a letter, feel free to. Don't feel obliged to send me anything. I've got enough junk around here. I buy enough tat off the internet. But if you want to send me a card or a letter, postcard, PO Box 77678, Perth, Berkshire and Ross, PH21JH. You can title it Caledonian Coins. You can title it with my name if you like. Yes, so, full disclosure, this is my second box that's not coins. The first one arrived came with these. Now I've wrapped them up again but I'm going to open it up just for you guys. I've got a uh, Cross Country Virgin HST Hornby double O gauge. Not everyone's cup of tea I know. So if, this is not, if you're not into trains, you're only here for coins. This one's not for you but hey, don't worry there'll be another video soon with coins or what have you. Now I seem to have uh, tied it up really well. <laughs> I packaged it really well. There we go. Deploy the scissors. There we go. Done a number on this one, haven't I? Oh, I've done this too well. There we go. Nice. So this one here. See, we can zoom in a bit. The Maiden Voyager. The other one's called Lady in Red. There we go. It's a lovely, lovely piece of work as a HST, one of my favourite trains, and I saw this for a bargain online and I thought I had to have it. It came with the second power of car, the Lady in Red. And two of these Mark III coaches. This one's E and I think the other one D, I think. Is it F or D? Let's have a look. It's F. So just two second class coaches. Um, no buffet car and no first class. No guard van. So we'll work on that later. But I need coupling hooks for them. Some of them have coupling hooks. That's these things here. They connect onto a wee bit just underneath here. You'll see just in there. Well, some of them don't have them, that's why I got them cheap. So all I need to do is like a couple of quid repair. That's all it is. Um I did buy some, but they're that tiny I lost them. <laughs> Silly me. So I'm gonna get more because I have a feeling I'm gonna need a few more for this second package anyway. So I'll move these aside. What a lovely thing. And we'll get this second box opened. Because uh, I do have a sum track, not much. I did get a, a, a gift from a, a fellow coin tuber who used to be around called Jamesy. He gave me um, a Pendolino pack and a 170 pack. They're, they're stored away just now because they're beautiful pings and they're still in the original bucket boxes and stuff. I will have a look. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the old uh, radio wipe and see what this is about. Oh, it's finally open and yep, it's well packaged. I'm going to hide this evidence just to the side here. There we go. What's written on there is lot, whatever number it is, Hornby Mark III. Blue, grey, coaches times three. So I'm going to move that because it's got a lot of detail on it, a lot of details, and open this up. Now, yeah, I was when I was down at the Mint, I was talking about this to a few people. Um, I think it was, was Carrie there, I think. Was it Carrie? Ah, there's so many people, I forget a lot of names and I forget the order on the Mint as well. But, um, yeah, the one that, they were the ones that sent me the Dorset knobs. <laughs> I always laugh when I say it. But, um, fantastic. 
they were saying, yeah, make a train video. And I'm like, oh, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, go for it. And people in the first voice chat as well on Discord were like, yeah, go for it. But yeah, and I thought, well, why not? Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I bought it, so here we are. Let's get rid of that. Certainly, a lot of bubble wrap and a lot of sellotape. That's, that can only be a good thing. There we go, right. Oh, more sellotape. Oh, blimey. It's not as strong as my sellotape. <laughs> I've opened up no ease, no bother at all. Very easy. That seems to have blitz. I love this blitz stuff. This is good stuff. Let's have a look at what we have here. Oh, old school. There we go. And they've got coupling hooks on them too. Brilliant. I'll pop the blitz towel down so you can get the contrast off the blue. I'm going to open up another one. And have a look at these bad boys. I do need some track. I do have a little bit of track, but it's all a curly track, so I can't really do that on camera because it doesn't get the full appreciation of it. And if I wanted to set up that big pendolino track thing that I got given, it's, it takes up all my room. And trying to get a camera angle on that is just a bit of a nightmare as well. So what I need to try and get is maybe a bit of straight track just for here, just something I could put diagonally or something. And... Uh, there we go. Bit of wear and tear, but that's just all right. It's it's old. And uh, I could do these up. They've all got coupling hooks so far, so that's a good thing. That can only be a good thing. It saves me, well, just means I've got to buy the ones for the HST. I can have these all hooked up. Yep, they're all hooked up. That's in no, no bad condition either. Oh, a bit of a broken window on that one. That's got a crack there. That wasn't mentioned in the lot. Mmm. Well, one of these things are easy to replace. I'm going to have to see some videos and stuff. Maybe do them up. Getting back to their former glory. Is that a crack or a hair? That's a crack. So these are old. These are worn. These are used. These have had a bit of love, but the seems the wheel seems smooth. They've got coupling hooks. I'm by no means an expert. I'm brand new at this. I am brand new. Wheels, they feel fine. Coupling hooks seem to be there. Bit of paint work needed there. Is that even cleaned or that's something sticky? Ew. I'm gonna have to wash my hands now. Um, so I'm gonna clean these up. Maybe, maybe put new liveries on them. Maybe, maybe it's that kind of thing where I could uh, get some wraps and make new things with them, renovate them, refurb. Who knows? It's a wee pet project of mine. I could start, I guess. Keep me off the streets. Bit weird to put them mixed with these ones, so I'll keep them separate. Have these on a wee branch line or something, just sitting in the sidings. But yeah, wow. Um, it's a different kind of video for me. Let's look at that. It's been attacked by wee vandals. Look at that. What's going on with that? So, what I need to look at a few YouTube videos. And learn about how to replace or refurb these things. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. That is totally... That's been attacked by something. Godzilla or something. <laughs> anyway, right. Bit of a different animal, but um, like I say, I thought I'd have a lean nose at what we had. I would have put some coupling hooks on these HSTs, but I've lost them, so we'll do them another day. Don't worry, this is not going to be a regular thing. Uh, if I do a regular thing, I might start up a new channel just for that. I do have train videos previously before all the coins were started. But, um, yeah, what I might do is not coins on the title. So, anyway, right, I'm off there now. Catch you later. If you're having a hunt, have a happy one. I found these on eBay, so that was a good hunt for me. These were cheap enough, but the cracks were not 
in the listing. So, hmm, see about that. Anyway, cheery bye. I'll catch you later in the next one. And choo-choo the new. <laughs> More appropriate time to say that, eh? Bye.